Jesse, go on, Jimmy. Testing one, two. Do I hear silence? Good morning, everybody. It is a good morning. It's nice and sunny out, and the sun's in here. We got a nice service plan. I'm so excited to see everybody. We have a nice message today. We're going to be talking about Rahab and the transforming power of the gospel. Hmm, interesting. It's community day to day, and we're just thankful to see everybody here. And we're going to start with some worship right now. We're going to do a song called The Happy Song. Here we go. Let's stand together and sing together. If I could sing an ending song of how you saved my soul. Here we go, everybody.
pray that you would just bless this service in a big way and touch the hearts of the people here, Lord, with a message that you could seal to their heart, that would increase their boldness and strengthen their lives and encourage them for their walk in you, Lord. We thank you again today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. You may be seated, everybody. And we have some announcements. Not too many, though. It is good to be here. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah, that's good. Oh, who is uh, experiencing experienced some really hot weather here? Just a few of us in the back, maybe. I don't know what else you guys are doing. I'd like to know. So, it's been quite a heat wave we've been having. I'm not ready for the heat wave. Are you? No. No. Of our true Ordonia I like the rain and the clouds and the trees. <laughs> but hey, I have one main announcement is we're going to be having the youth come down and do a big cleaning day on Friday or Saturday. Friday after school gets out, so there a week, couple weeks for the summer. So the Friday after school gets out, we're going to have a cleaning party down here. Maybe we'll have six more days. <laughs> yes! And counts down. Yeah. We'll be taking communion too. Hey, thank you for what a wonderful breakfast, brother, sisters, and brothers, and everybody that bring and donate and help, and help clean and do the dishes. And thank you for the people that clean the toilets. We love it so much. Yeah, maybe the highest part of our uh, worship is our act of service and everything. So let's just continue worshiping the Lord with all our heart and all our mind and all our strength together. Here. It's just good to be here and see everybody here. We won't forsake the communion of the saints today. We're going to worship Him with all our heart and all our mind and all our strength. Amen? Amen. Uh, so let's cast out everything in our head that has to do with our secular work week and our secular pursuits and the things like that so that we can make room for the Holy Spirit and His Word come into our heart and our mind and have a new revelation of what his word is saying and that it can speak to us. Let's just worship him together. It's good to be together and worship the Lord. It's good to be here. Let's have our morning scripture this morning. Thank you. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past and the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath he quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. Praise the Lord. What a blessing it is to be a part of the family of God. What things he has in store for us. We're so lucky that we've accepted him. I hope everybody is completely saved here today. What a blessing it is. And we're going to be talking about that transforming power once we become saved and everything. But what a wonderful word. What a wonderful Lord we have. 
We're going to sing some more right now. This is a song we're going to sing called You Are the Maker. If you could stand together, we're going to sing You Are the Maker and Refiner's Fire. Sing with the whole heart. Here we go.
You may be seated, everybody. Right now we have our time for prayer. And we have a few prayer requests here today. So let's bow our heads together right now. Lord, we're so thankful that we can come together and pray. There's so much power that comes when we're together and we pray together. What other good reason, Lord? What a better, there's no better reason than to not forsake the assembling of each other together if we can come together and be interceders for others. What a blessing it is to pray as one, Lord. Thank you for teaching us that. Lord, we just have certain ones that we want to hold up today that we want to put our uh, personal note on, Lord. And we, we want to definitely hold up Bill and Doris today. Doris, who is passing away. She is right now on 12 days without food and water. And I pray, Lord, that uh, you would just continue to comfort Bill. And uh, she's at this ending stage, but it seems like you use afflictions in people's lives for other people. And it's so obvious when I think about how her, uh, her afflictions and her passing and doing, going through what she's going through is affecting the children and bringing out those who have faith and those who don't have faith. And there's something about when you are working miracles in the lives of, of your people, Lord. So, Lord, I just pray that you comfort Bill and that you would continue to bless Doris. Keep her at peace. Help her to be encouraged and encourage Bill and just be with that whole situation. Lord, I don't know what you're going to do, but I do know you know what to do. And so, Lord, we just put it in your hands and pray that you would just bless them and do what it is that you would do to create the miracles that you have for them. They're such lovers of you, Lord, and I just pray that you bless them good. Also, Lord, we want to hold up Connie's neighbor who has been, she's thinking that she might have the Lyme disease symptoms, and she's already afflicted enough, Lord, and I just pray that you would help her and encourage her. She is a believer, and I pray that you would bless Connie with the words of encouragement when she is talking with her, with the help of the right prayers and things, that you would just bless that whole situation. Heal her from that, Lord, and I pray that you will work in the lives of Connie and her, and her neighbor, Lord. So we just turn it over to you, and we thank you for hearing our prayer. Also, Lord, David's not with us today because he has hurt his back. I think he fell in the, in the bathroom, I think, or something, and he has hurt his back. And so he's in a lot of pain right now, as if he wasn't afflicted enough, Lord. But I pray that you bless him, encourage him, keep him full of joy and full of faith, Lord. And we just thank you for that. Also, Lord, we want to hold up Itsy today, Lord. You are just working overtime in her life. She's getting ready. She's just kind of graduated, and she's been accepted into this uh, uh, thing that she's going to be doing. She's going to go back to Washington, D.C. tomorrow, and she's going to be gone for a week, and it's a mother and daughter conference where she is learning about things, about teaching uh, how mothers and daughters uh, need Christ, and it's just a wonderful thing. And Lord, I just am so thankful for how you're working in it. She is such a blessing and such joy. And it's just such a testimony to see her. And, and Lord, I just thank you for how you're working in her life. And I know that, that you have just begun to use her in such a mighty way. And I'm so thankful that I can be a part of seeing that happening. And it is just a wonderful thing, Lord. So we thank you for Itzy. And I just pray that you keep your finger on her and guide her and guard her and keep a hedge of protection around her and just bless her like nobody's business, Lord. And I just accept your business. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer on that. Also, Lord, we have a praise report about Lane. and he, We've been praying about their finances. Well, their finances are doing better, Lord. And Lane is excited because now he's even got a car that he's going to be dealing with as soon as he gets some paperwork done and everything on his license. But Lord, you're blessing them, and it's really evident that it's an answer to prayer. And so I'm so thankful that we were part of it, and I'm so thankful that you answered it and you're blessing him. He has faith, Lord, and I just thank you for Lane. And I just pray that you would continue to grow in him in a big way and help him to be a testimony for those around him. And so we thank you for that, Lord. And for all others who didn't get their prayer request in, I know that there's some special needs out there. Lord, I pray that you would just touch them at their need and bless them in a big way. All those who have a something that they're thinking about that they really are ha wanting ho help with, Lord. So bless each and every person and thank you for sending them to church. 
What better place to come and petition you, Lord, than at the place where your believers are together and we love you. So thank you again, Lord, for hearing our prayer today. We turn this service over to you and we thank you again and ask for all of these things in your precious name, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for praying with me today. And we have our ushers come forward today, like maybe uh, Ron and Lane. Would you help out today for this for us? We're going to sing a hymn right now. I invite you to join along with us. I pray that you give with a whole heart. And giving is a sign of your faith in material form. Here we go. Turn your eyes upon Jesus.
is so good all the time. Well, right now it is time to stand up and greet somebody, and we are going to start the sermon, and it's a good sermon today. It's about Rahab and the transforming power. Stand up and greet somebody, and we will be started in one moment. Children are excused at Children's Church. Make somebody welcome, and we'll be ready to start.